welcome to it. This is EWN on the couch where we catch up with your favorites both on and off the field. Now, if I may say this, we are catching up with one badass today. At UWC in the gym, it's women's rugby player Babawa Lacha. Alright. Babawa, let's go. I don't know how to stretch. <laughs> Let's go. We're gonna start with some speed, um, with resistance. Okay. You know, as a we play rugby, you know, pulling and tagging at you, yeah. you still need to be able to run strong with that resistance of them pulling. It feels like I'm gonna fall forward. You're not. I promise. Okay. 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 Some of the for, for rugby players in any position because it's great for explosiveness, it helps get off the ground. Sir. Baba, woo! Did it move? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I'm Well, well, thank you so much for joining us on the couch today. I know you're very busy. Last year at LB and you're going with the Springboks uh, end of year tour. So thank you for joining yeah, us. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. I'm huh? super excited to be here. This is the ladies' first tour since last year, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that is correct. Last year we had a tour to the UK. Um, we played three games, two against the English side, the women's English side, and one against the UK Army. Um, this year we are playing the UK Armed Forces. Uh, Spain, Wales and Italy, if I'm not mistaken. How did it go last time and what are you expecting of this tour? I would imagine that this tour is slightly different because our opponents are different. Um, and of course, I think um, this tour is going to require a whole lot more demand, rather. A whole lot more of us because, um, you know, we're playing sides that are ranked about 10 and 9th in the world. Wow. And we are still trying to find our feet in the international arena. So it's going to be quite a test um, just to see where we are and um, what it is that you need to work on in preparation for, for the World Cup, actually. I was getting goosebumps now. That'd be awesome. Imagine how cool that would be. Yeah, because so you should be up there with the best. Actually competing, because yes. my thing is I do not want to participate. <laughs> I want to compete. You know, and actually be, you know, competition for other nations, you know, because South Africa is a, a rugby nation after all. And why do you think, as you say, we are a rugby nation, mm -hmm. why do you feel the women's side or the women's rugby in general hasn't gotten to that? side yet of being competitive on the world stage what do you need as rugby players in south africa to be to be there because our guys can do it so yeah. why can't the women you know i think for for the women's side it's 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 slightly different in fact the rugby the south african rugby system in the country as a whole is uh, very much different to the guys um you know at interprovincial level we play much less games mm -hmm. you know there's actually not that much that many um, players to choose from because of that, we only have, they only have a selected pool, so there's not um, real competition to you know, develop a, a stronger, the best, of the, best, the best yeah. of the best. So basically, you just take what you have, you know, and that can be problematic in the long run. Um, compared to New Zealand, for instance, you know, the competition is high. There, everyone yeah. wants to be in the team. There's like a whole lot of rugby going on apart from the national side, so they can actually select the cream of the crop. So I think um, in our country first. We need to um, sort of get um, more players, develop the, the, the club and provincial levels so that they can filter through into the, into the um, international um, teams and so on. Um, I do feel that you know, the system for the main, or the, the main system for them is working. Yes. Um, I would actually like to see if we could actually just copy and paste that system onto the women's, you know, see how it works. Because that's what I want to ask, is yeah. at most, it always comes up when it comes to women's sides, is that there's not, there's not enough money, the, you know, commercial side of things. Mm -hmm. 
how are the sponsorships looking for you guys? Are people actually lining up? Are there interest? Are there, is there money coming in? As what you can see as a player, maybe? Um, as a player from where I'm standing, I, I do not see sponsorships lining up, as you put it. It's a little bit difficult for us. A clear example of this. I read in the news that the men are no longer going to have more contracts than they have, but instead their match fees are going to be increased. And when I looked at how much their match fees are, it's from 250,000 to 400,000, between 250 and wow. 400,000 without contracts. So I was thinking, we do not even get a fraction of a percentage of really? that kind of salaries of match fees. So in that regard, you really are lagging behind, which is not that well taken care of, if yeah. I may put it that way. You know, and it's, 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 it's mind-boggling for me because we are, basic, we are at the same level, really. You know, we play international rugby and even at provincial level. It's the current cup, it's exactly on the same level, but, um, you know, there's a huge, huge pay gap or a shortage on our side when it comes to funding, sponsorships, resources, those kinds of things. Yeah. Now, Baba, let's look at you for a while. You've only picked up a rugby ball four years ago. And you have won the interprovincial tournament with uh, the female, basically, Curry Cup, that's what you were saying. Yeah. Uh, with Western Province now, and last year, as we're not mistaken. And you've true. run out for the Springboks 7 side. And <laughs> you're going on the end of year to the Springboks. What made you pick up a rugby ball only four years ago? <laughs> it's quite a, it was by chance, really. Um, you know, there, there's the University Sports South Africa. Yeah. Tournaments that happen annually, Sevens Women, the University of the Western Cape needed a team to actually go and compete. And we needed to, I remember it was, we needed 13 people, and I was now going to make the 13th person. What? So we can actually so have a one. team. <laughs> <laughs> we can actually have a team to register and compete. So Did so someone they, ask you? We're just like, oh, I'm going to try. So, no, there was actually two ladies who approached me. Um, who one is a former teammate and one is still a teammate now. Um, they were like, yo, you look like someone who would actually be able to play okay. rugby. I'm like, rugby, what is that? <laughs> um, and so they were like, yeah, no, just come join us for training and then you'll see, you'll, see, you'll enjoy it. Uh, but skeptical at first. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, why not? Why not? Let me, let me, see, let me see what this is about. Um, so we started, well, I didn't train that day. I just stood there and watched. And they were like, um, yeah, no, it's, it's a simple sport. You know, you just, if, if you get the ball, just, just run. Just run. But pause back, not front. <laughs> that I was told. That I was told at the tournament. What? <laughs> and then we what? left. We we left the following day, right. and you know, you know, the games went on, and people started getting injured, and they were like, "Yeah, well, we have you, so you may as well play." I was bad too far. I was like, "What?" Um, but yeah, no. My my one. I will say is my instruction was just get the ball Go and just 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 run. Just run. Okay. And then I took it from there. And then as the games commenced, uh, you know, the instructions started coming. The instructions started coming. They were like, okay, now you actually have to pause. Um, pause to the back. What does that mean? Just pass the ball back. Because make sure it, and then, you know. So they kept it basic for you. Yeah, very basic. <laughs> because I was clueless. I, I, I really was clueless. I was, you know, um, fascinated by the fact that um, girls actually played rugby. Because all I knew was, okay, we have the spring box. Um, they play the rugby. Rugby is a tough sport. It's violent. It's whatever. I'm never going to play it. Um, but then I was like, whoa, girls actually do this? And I was so fascinated. I was like, this I have to do. I'm going to continue doing this. Really. Okay, Babawa, so we're going to play a little game with you. Now it's called Just Be Honest. <laughs> have you ever faked an injury? No. Have you ever pretended to have a foreign accent and then make everyone believe you are from another country? No. <laughs> have you ever driven over a red light? Yes. Kenny Africa, got a... <laughs> <laughs> if it actually drunk dialed someone? No. Why did you pause there, Boa? No. Okay, skip training to go out with your friends. Yes. <laughs> Who hasn't? <laughs> well, Boa, thank you so much for joining us on the couch. We can't wait to see you ladies in action um, for the spring box at the end of year tour. Mm -hmm. Good luck and stay focused, eh? Thank you so much. It's been so much fun. There we go, yes. Babawa Lacha, you can catch her in action on the rugby field for the Springboks in the next coming months, so don't miss it.